Okay, Rayanne, so we're going to start from Romeo and Juliet back from the start. So this is today's lesson. It should only last one lesson. I'm going to ask you to um, pause the video in a second, click on the link and please complete the word search. Please pause. Okay, Rayanne, so Romeo and Juliet was written by William Shakespeare. I'd like you to use the internet to try and find what um, you can about him. I do not mind you finding your information in Urdu um, if you think that makes it easier. However, the little quiz that I'm giving you here will be in English. So please pause the video and do some research on William Shakespeare, then take my test. No, it's not a test, it's a quiz. Now, here's my information about William Shakespeare. It's rather short. It could have been very, very long. So... Born in Stratford-upon-Avon on April the 23rd, 1564, William Shakespeare was the third and surviving child of John and Mary Shakespeare. John was a prosperous man at the time of William's birth, and he was very much involved in things to do with the local town council. However, shortly after William was born, his father fell into terrible debt. William was one of five children, three boys, two girls. He went to the local grammar school and learned Latin, Greek and French. He left school at 13 years of age. Shakespeare married Anna Thaway at 18. She was eight years older than him. They had three children, Susanna, born in 1583, and twins Hamnet and Judith, born in 1585. No one knows why Shakespeare left Stratford-upon-Avon for London. But he made a living there as an actor. He began writing by adapting and rewriting the play of other authors. By 1597, Shakespeare was making a good living as a poet or a playwright. And he was rich enough to return to Stratford and buy the largest house there. He then became part owner of the Globe Theatre in London when it was built the first time in 1599. During Shakespeare's time, English people became very interested in theatrical productions and many open-air theatre were built in London. Plays dealing with foreign lands and great kings and conquerors were the most popular. Right, Rayanne, this is quite a big text. So, make sure that you know all the words that you've understood everything. You can use the dictionary if you want to. Um, a few words I'm going to explain um, here. There is here conquerors is when people just fight to get some land. Okay. Um, the other words is up to you. Once you've done this, Click on the link, pause the video, and do the quiz about Shakespeare. Let's see if you do better than the first time. Okay, so we're going to start by just cutting the story back to the bare minimum. Um, I'm going to ask you to maybe make notes about the sentences that are going to appear in the video. So you can pause after each picture. So let's start. The Capulet and the Montagues family hate each other's. Romeo and Juliet meet and fall in love. They get married in secret. Juliet's cousin, Tybalt, kills Romeo's friend, Mercutio. Romeo is very angry and kills Tybalt. Romeo is sent away and Juliet is very, very sad. Juliet's parents say she must marry Paris. 
Friar Lawrence gives Juliet a drug to drink so she will appear to be dead. Romeo hears that Juliet is dead, finds her in the tomb and drinks poison. Juliet wakes up, finds Romeo is dead and kills herself. Romeo and Juliet are found dead and Friar Lawrence tells the story of what happened. The Capulets and the Montagues make peace.